make it yourselfers, carnivores, or just anybody looking for a tasty low carb snack. Today I'm going to show you how to make some crispy chicken skins. This is really easy. It's almost embarrassing to call it a recipe. But a lot of people would overlook this, and especially if you're making something like some keto chicken nuggets. To make those, you really want the meat without the skins. So what I like to do is buy boneless thighs and breasts if I can get the skin on them. And then I pull the skin off and I save it for this. You can save these up and put parchment paper between the skins, spread them out, and then stick them in your freezer if you don't want to make them all at once. These are really best made fresh, so that's what I like to do. If I have a bunch of skins, I will make a couple as a snack that day, and the rest I like to save up and freeze for when I'm looking forward to something with a little bit of crunch. And of course I have other snacks up like meat chips and some other ideas, but these are absolutely delicious. To make these, you really only need a few things. You don't need any sort of fat as the skin has a lot of fat. In fact, you will find that you will end up making some schmaltz along the way. If you don't know what that is, it's just chicken fat that has been rendered. Just like when you have pork fat gets rendered into lard, and beef fat gets rendered into tallow. In the case of chicken fat, it is called schmaltz. And it's surprising how much schmaltz you can get from just a few chicken skins. I like to make mine in an air fryer. I like to use this sort of basket that keeps them up in the air, that keeps them with air circulating around and it just lets them get really nice and crispy. But because they do give off so much fat, it really is fine to just do it directly on the pan. So use whatever you have. What you do wanna do is you wanna make sure that you spread them out. And so the more surface area you have, if you wanna make a lot of them, you might wanna make this in the oven. Some people deep fry. Uh, I don't think that that's necessary for this. You can make them very crispy in either an oven or an air fryer. And salt really brings out the flavor of these, so I really suggest using some salt on them. And if you like other seasonings, that's fine. You can use some herbs, or you can use the smoked salt, or whatever you prefer. This is super easy, so let's just go get to it. For the crispiest chicken skins, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're fully dry. You can either use a paper towel, or I like to use cotton cloths. And then you're gonna to wanna to spread them out as best as you can to keep them in an even layer, and you wanna keep space between them. Just dry them all out and space them out as best you can. Once your chicken skins are in place, you can sprinkle a little bit of salt over them. I would wait to put any herbs on until after they're done. To cook these, I place them on the highest setting of my air fryer, which is 200 degrees Celsius. That's around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It ends up taking about 10 minutes. After about five minutes, I flip them over and then continue to cook them. Sometimes they will stick a little bit, so you wanna be careful, don't burn yourself. I will continue to cook these until they develop a nice golden brown color. They should have shrunk quite a bit and you should notice that they're slightly hard. They might not be completely crispy yet, but they will develop more of a crispiness as they cool down. And here's the result, crispy chicken skins. I should have recorded the sound separately on a microphone because my camera makes a clocking noise, which is a bit annoying. But here you can hear what they mostly sound like. As I mentioned earlier, as a tasty byproduct of making these crispy chicken skins, you will end up with schmaltz. What I like to do is to strain it through a stainless steel strainer, through a funnel into a jar where I save it for cooking. You can spread it on things or just use it to grease a pan or use it for frying and that sort of thing. Now for leftovers, uh, I like to just make a couple at a time because they don't store very well. I prefer to freeze the chicken skins that I'm not gonna use. And what I do is I dry them out ahead of time, making it easier for me to make the next time. And I 
place them between sheets of parchment paper. I stick them in a freezer bag and I keep those in the freezer. After that, you can just cook them directly in the air fryer, spreading them out just like you would with the non-frozen ones. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please consider giving it a thumbs up and I would love it for you to subscribe to this channel to get more recipes like this one. Until next time.